e-cigarettes exploding right in users' hands and faces, in some cases causing second and third degree burns. Two investigator Pam Zekman looks into this troubling trend and a warning, some of the images are graphic. But when it happened, it was basically like a pipe bomb. Evan Spallinger's e-cigarette exploded when he reached to take a puff of vapor. And I had third degree burns in my entire face. I had burns in my entire esophagus and in my lungs and battery acid in my lungs. Jennifer Reese's e-cigarette exploded while it was charging in her car. A blowtorch type of fire and then an explosion. She suffered second degree burns to her leg. The internet has other examples of close calls showing exploding e-cigarettes. Government statistics show there's been more than two dozen e-cigarette explosions or fires in recent years. You actually have a better chance of being killed by a falling vending machine than you do of your device exploding on you. Vape shop owner Anthony Owen says most problems occur due to user error. If a battery is overcharged, just like a cell phone battery, if your cell phone battery is overcharged for too long, it's left on the charger too long, that can destroy the battery. Owen says dealers need to give consumers proper safety information. All of this could be avoided. Mm -hmm. Everything, with safe all use. of it can be avoided. You have safe use. Batteries must be inserted insert correctly, way. otherwise, the device can overheat and catch fire or explode. It's not marked. But we found some devices don't label the plus and minus sides for the batteries. The e cigarette industry today is like the Wild West. Respiratory Health Association President Joel Afric says consumers have no idea what they're buying and putting in their mouth. If there are people and adults who must use e-cigarettes, we think they should be labeled properly and regulated properly so that people don't get hurt. Evan Spallinger has filed suit against the manufacturer and the vaping shop. Neither would comment. If I would have known that there's a risk of me fighting for my life and being in a hospital, and I would have never picked it up. The Smoke-Free Alternatives Trade Association says consumers must use the correct chargers and follow guidelines when recharging, which Evan Spallinger says he did. Meanwhile, the Food and Drug Administration has proposed a rule change, which would allow it to regulate e-cigarettes for safety issues, including whether they contain dangerous chemicals. Robin Erica, that could take some time. Mm, a lengthy process. Seeing that video, though, it really is scary when you see how the extent of these explosions. It really is. It's user beware. And you realize when there's battery acid on you, too, that's not a good thing. So there you Very go. Very bad. All right. Thanks, Pam.